Hello and welcome to Tector Edge. Today I've got in my hands the Dust Keyboard 4 Professional, a pretty minimalist mechanical keyboard with a very unminimalist price tag. I'm going to start with a little gripe about the packaging. The keyboard is marketed as professional and most of the packaging supports this, but there is one part that seems aimed at gamers. Sure, it's a play on words to describe that the footbar is actually a ruler, but I don't like LeetSpeak on my professional products. But little packaging gripe aside, the keyboard itself reeks of sheer professionalism. It's constructed entirely of metal and I love the minimalist design. It almost looks like it could be any other keyboard, especially if you ignore the media controls. Uh, but these simple looks belie the quality and uniqueness of this keyboard. The lay layout is fairly standard by all measures. All of the keys are where you'd expect them to be, with the enter key being the usual short style and the Windows key being operating system neutral, with just a DAS keyboard logo engraved instead. Uh, standard numpad lays below the much more unique media controls, and honestly the media controls are one of the greatest features of this keyboard. And by media controls I mean the volume knob. It's very premium feeling and the tactile feedback is extremely pleasing. The other media buttons are simple plastic buttons that work, but nothing special. There are buttons for previous, next, pause, sleep and mute, as well as indicators for num lock, caps lock and scroll lock. Few other mechanical keyboards have dedicated media controls, a function modifier usually and that's just stupid, and none have an implementation as good as this. On the back of the keyboard is a 2 port USB 3.0 hub as well as the 2 meter long USB cable. The underside of the keyboard houses two magnetic clips for the footbar, and the footbar itself is made of plastic that contains a ruler, as mentioned before. The ruler functionality doesn't really contribute much to the keyboard, of course, but I guess it's nice to have. The keycaps are laser engraved, and I've been using this keyboard for over a year, and there's no signs of fading or wear at all. And the typing experience is, of course, excellent. You can opt to have this keyboard with Cherry MX Brown or blue switches. I prefer the softer brown switches, which are a little bit quieter and easier to type with. You don't have to apply too much pressure to actuate the key press. After switching from a membrane keyboard, my speed has dropped from about 100 words per minute to about 90, but I no longer have any wrist strain at the end of the day, at least not from my keyboard. The DAS Keyboard 4 does uh, include support for N-key rollover, so basically you can press as many keys as you want and all the key presses will register. You can toggle it by pressing Shift plus Mute, though I'm not really sure why anyone would ever want it disabled. Uh, the keyboard is well suited for everyday typing or more hardcore programming or copywriting, which is what I use it for on a day-to-day -day basis. You aren't going to get fatigued and you'll find everything easy to reach. If you're a big gamer and need macro keys, there are none of that on here. Uh, this is a keyboard and more professional use, so you will need to get an external keypad or look at another brand of keyboard if you're gaming. If you're an FPS player and just need fast response times from your arrow keys, the DAS will certainly deliver there, but so will other cheaper keyboards. The numpad is as usable as any other for accounting or spreadsheeting. The two downsides for me are one, it's not wireless. I would happily forego the USB hub and response times for a properly portable mechanical keyboard. My workstation spread out across a couple of desks and being able to move a keyboard freely around would be a godsend. Uh, it's not really a downside, I guess, as there's nothing actually wrong with the keyboard, but I'd love to see a wireless version. And number two is price. This is the first piece of computer gear I've ever owned that has actually appreciated in value since I bought it. Uh, it's probably cheaper over there in the United States, but even so, it's not a cheap keyboard. You are paying for absolute perfection in terms of construction, but you do miss a few fancy features such as programmable keys. Uh, whether it's worth the money is entirely up to you. For me it was, good media keys are essential for me, and they're hard to come across in a mechanical keyboard. 
Thanks for watching Tech Dredge. I will see you next week with a review of the ASUS VG248Q 144Hz monitor and of the 144Hz experience in general. So until next time, have a good one.